Hi everyone, this is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. stock market update. We're looking at the Dow, 202 points after dropping over 350 points yesterday. 36,694, big red candle. I suspect it's going to try to worm its way up towards that 35,892 all-time high. But my thinking here is that the S&P, based on the Chef Week methodology, I'm always looking for at least a peak D in a buy mode which is up 35 points at 45.87. That's going to surpass by uh, within the next couple of days, 45.98.53 to get to the leg D. But this is going to be the issue. Each one of these is like a, a rolling cycle. The Qs are in leg C to the upside. They still have to make a lower high to make a peak D, a peak C, and then start a leg up. And that'll take you until next week. So I suspect before... It'll be early November before we know whether or not we're going to get a, a pretty decent pullback, a, a breather before we go even higher. So uh, the, the Qs are delayed. The Dow's already got to D. The S&P could do it within the next day or two, but it'll take at least two days minimum for the Qs to do that. IWM is lagging a little bit. The 200 period moving average, uh, sorry, the 200 period moving average. What I wanted to say is the 200 and a 26.98 level at three three up three dollars. Um, it I think if it can get to the two two eight fifties, that's a good sign. Then it says it could rally a, a little further next week, but it's stuck in the sideways range. We'll do these quickly. Look, gold. Gold is holding steady. It's up one seventeen ninety nine. But really, what we're looking at is the BTC, which is the Bitcoin made a peak D about six sessions ago, seven sessions ago. And it's up today, 2,885, but that all-time high of 67, sorry, 68.030, I, I, that's going to be tough. But the weekly chart is peak C. It should do that. That's in, really in play as opposed to the narrow range of gold. Looking at the TLT, because that's so important, TLT is pulling back a little bit. You did have a big spike to the upside over the 200 period moving average. Now we're going to see, does it hang around here so that yields kind of pull back and then hold steady this is going to be a big question and now we're going to look at crude oil because crude oil is trading down 49 cents it's kind of struggling here for the first time in this major move to a peak e inside the chapman wave inside track repellent zone got repelled it's 85.41 watching this really closely because if it starts to close under 82 we're looking at a time and at least a little bit of a consolidation there Stay tuned, you got Larry Pizzavento, Steve Rowe, and then Think Think the Swift, Steve Rowe, Say White, Tom O'Brien. Check out both. Normal daily. And have a great day. See you tomorrow.